Today's lesson on Sunday, August 22nd, 2021, is a man called Obadiah. Obadiah. Obadiah was a prophet. Mm -hmm. Now, he is the name of a person. That's the name of a person. And it's also the name of a book in the Bible about him. It is the shortest book in the New or in the New Testament? No, the shortest book in the Old Testament. Okay. You notice that I don't have a chapter number up there. You know why? Because Obadiah has got one chapter. Just one chapter. Now, we don't know a whole lot about who Obadiah was. What we do know is that he was a prophet. Ooh, ooh. But he really did get it. And that's true. That's great and true. So, once again, for those of you whose name is not Kaya, somebody tell me what a prophet is. Reagan, tell me what a prophet is. So tell the future from their own from their own skill. From God's. And who somebody had a hand up over here. I thought I saw a hand go up. Did she take yours? Do you know the other one? You know the other thing? Let me, let me put this back on the board here so we know. I know we keep going over this, but I want you guys to get this. A prophet, first of all, has the powers of God. It is not the prophet's own power. The prophet does not have any power. It's from God. And a prophet through God can tell future things. I see a lot of hands up here. Reagan already got one. I know Kaya knows. I know Kaya knows, but I'm going to give Xander a chance. Um, tell secrets. Tell secrets. Awesome. How many of you guys got secrets? How many of you guys got things about you that nobody knows except you? Even your brothers and sisters don't know. Even your parents don't know. Nobody knows. Secret things. God knows. God knows. God saw everything you've done. God sees everything. And sometimes God will tell somebody else. He will tell a prophet. In fact, the sermon this morning, Pastor's son is preaching. And he was preaching on what happened to King David. And King David thought he got away with something. But he didn't because God told a prophet the secret that David had. But it's all through the power of God. Now... Obadiah, he had something to say to a people called Edom. It was a nation <clears throat> called Edom. Edom was the descendant of a man named Esau. Who has heard of Esau before? You have two? Who's Esau? Well, I need to tell me. Okay, who was Esau? He was a twin brother. Do you know who his twin brother was? Do you know who his twin brother was? Do you know who his twin brother was? Jacob. His twin brother was Jacob. You got it right. Now, Jacob had 12 sons. And those 12 sons became the 12 tribes of who? 
let me, before we go there, Jake, God gave Jacob another name. And that name was Israel. Now Jacob had 12 sons. And the 12 sons were the 12 tribes of somebody? Israel. Israel. So if Esau was Jacob's twin brother, does that mean then that the nation of Edom and the nation of Israel were related? Think so? I see a lot of like... You think so? Do you think they were related? They were. They were. They were family. Now, hundreds of years passed from that time, but it's still, they were family. And there's one thing that God finds to be very important, is that family love family. Family loves family. Now, I see a lot of people looking around, I need to see everybody's faces up here. Came in and they destroyed 
Jerusalem. And the people of Edom said, Ha! We're going to come up and we're going to destroy them too. That offended God. That was offensive to God. Because they were doing that against their own family. And so God raised up Obadiah. And God said, you know what? It may have been many, 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 many years since Jacob and Esau lived. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I don't care how many years it's been, you are supposed to treat your family right. And God pronounced judgment against Edom through Obadiah because of what they did to Israel. So what does that mean to us? Are we family? Are we family? Are we family? 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 You family? Family? We're all family. Now it's been thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of years since Adam and Eve lived. Because Reagan's right. We're all the family. We're all the children of God. Adam was the son of God. God made Adam first of men. God made Eve first of women. We're all from the same family. We're all from Adam and Eve. God expects us to treat each other right. God expects us to love each other. God expects us to do right by each other. God expects us not to be mean to each other. God expects us not to try to destroy each other. God expects every one of us to love each other. Now if we fail to do that, what Obadiah said would happen to Edom is going to happen to us too. God will destroy those who refuse to love their family, who refuse to love their neighbor, who refuse to love... But Who's my neighbor? Everybody. We are expected as children of God because God loved everybody. John 3.16 says, God loved the world so much that he gave his only son. And God expects no less from us that we would love each other just as he loved us. So I want you to remember that. Are you a child of God? Raise your hand if you're a child of God. I am a child of God. God says love one another. God says love one another. Now what does that mean? That means treat each other right. That doesn't mean... That's not the love that he's talking about. What that means is that we treat each other right. If you see somebody in trouble, help them out. Don't talk bad about them. Look for the good in everyone. That pleases God. What doesn't please God is when we start fighting each other. That does not please God. And we will not escape God's judgment if we do. All right. It's about shut up time here. I don't have my alarm, but uh, really? we're going to get, yep, yeah, it's, it's early, but we're going to give you guys a little time to so that we're not rushing to get the snacks in. Listen. We're like five minutes. Listen, here's what I want. I want everybody looking up here. I want everybody looking up here. The Bible says love one another. You know why? Because you're all family. You're all family. You may not look alike, but you're all family. You all came from Adam and Eve. And God expects you to love each other. And it'll be, God will get angry if we don't. Because he expects us to do right. Alright. What is the first? What does the second